I'm Dr. Camille Newton. Today I'm going to show you how the PureWick system works. PureWick is a completely new female external catheter. In hospitals, PureWick is used with the wall vacuum system. It works very well even at the lowest settings. We find that the ideal setting is 40 millimeters mercury. For nursing homes and in-home, the dry dock pump can be used. The pump is designed to run continuously and has a simple on-off button. The wick to the tubing. When you're placing the wick, you want to have your thumb at the level of the top part of the wick and then the thumb goes to the level of the pubic bone. You want the urethra to be at around the top third of the wick. Before placing the wick, you want to separate the legs, the gluteus and the labia, and then let the body go back together and the body will hold the wick in place. When it's time to remove the wick, you again separate the legs, gluteus, and the labia and remove the wick. You can separate the wick from the tubing and dispose of the wick. The wick should never be pushed or pulled through the perineal region. First separate the legs, gluteus, and labia each time the wick is placed or removed. The wick should be snug against the perineum between the anus and the pubic bone. If using the hospital wall vacuum system, set at 40 millimeters mercury. Dispose of the wick after 12 hours of use, for instance with each change in shift, or if the wick is soiled with feces or blood. The wick should never be inserted into the vagina or anal canal or any other body cavities. Never use a wick while on a bedpan, a plastic sheet, or other non-breathable surface. If you are rolling or moving the patient, you should separate the legs, gluteus, and labia, remove the wick, examine the perineum, roll the patient, then separate the legs, gluteus and labia, and then replace the wick. Do not use barrier cream in the perineum when using pure wick. It will clog up the wick. You can use barrier cream in the sacral area, but you may find it to be less necessary. If patients are having frequent bowel movements, then you can use a fecal collection system with pure wick. You will notice that the wick does stay wet after use. This does not cause skin problems. This is because the wick is in a part of the body that is already wet. Also, it is improving the microenvironment by drawing cool air through the perineum. Pirwick is designed for adult female patients. It should not be used in patients with urinary retention. It should also not be used in women who will pull out the wick or who will try to get out of bed while using the wick. Pirwick can be used for accurate eyes and O's. It can also be used to collect urine for analysis, similar to a clean catch. As long as the perineum is cleansed and you use a fresh wick, tubing, and canister. Do not use pure wick while the patient is lying on a bedpan. A vacuum injury could result. Thank you for your interest in pure wick. Please contact us if you have any further questions.